Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. On the last episode we actually got ourselves a couple heart pieces. Which is very convenient if you if I say so myself. Okay, what you would want to do next on Windfall Island is that we are going to need a sail to sail the seas. And that's why we come and see this guy. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away, a land where blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. But dear me, as I travel, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits, yet mysteriously only that escaped with so much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say you are a traveler as well. Yes, indeed. Could you not purchase that for me? It is my one and only heirloom from home. The people of this town do not seem the least bit interested in that, despite the fact they were helping travel dangerous seas about their own. Please, I beg of you, I wish to open a business here in town, so I'm in desperate need of finances. How does 80 rupees sound? I'll buy it. Yes, 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 thank you very much indeed. I have received precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me, what a happy day! Very well, young master, as I promised. Please take that. Awesome. We got a sail. And now we can sail. We got a sail, now we can sail, that sounds fun. Yes, yes, yes. You have a good, you made a good purchase today. And you've saved my life and business as well. Treasure dearly as it's the finest sail in the world. Treat it as such. Okay. Oh yeah, I want to show you guys something. You see this guy right here? Kinda of looks like Freddie Mercury. <laughs> yeah. And there's the killer bees again. Bye bye killer bees. Oh! Damn it. Couldn't get another pig. Oh, from looks and I, you find yourself a sail, have you? Very well then, I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hull and press A, climb to climb aboard. It says sail. The sail will catch the wind which will push the boat forward. Using a steer if you wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing directly into the sail. You can always press A to put away the sail. Try it when you want to adjust your speed. Do you understand all that? Yes. One more thing, when you're out at sea with a few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of your sea chart. I have marked the place which should currently be heading for you on your sea chart. If you get lost at sea, simply press up, open the chart to confirm your position. Now, westerly wind blows hopping and we will hit the sea. Okay. Oh, rocks in the way. I'm actually really sick today, but I'm still recording. Yeah, I have a cold. It sucks. Okay, so we are heading west to that big tower island up ahead, you, you'll see. There's gonna be a lot of sailing in this game. Of course, uh, you would know that if you played it before. Okay, so there's there's little things you can do along the way, like get these these rupees here. And come out of the ocean. Actually, a neat way to turn is when you jump. See, like no, right here. Here's a good example of it. See, when you jump and you can turn. See, I got it. That's for if you want a sharp turn. Be really useful at times. Whoa. We're gonna need a bigger wallet soon. All these rupees coming our way. And that's nice of the seagulls to fly alongside us. Cool. Oh, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Seagulls look cool. There's windfall, it's already really tiny back there. We're getting really close to our destination. Hey. There on the horizon. 
That is our destination, Trifozzi. Dragon Roost Island. Cool. High atop the silence, Pika lives a spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. <clears throat> you must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rigo tribe who inhabit this island to see how how to see the dragon. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music in a prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use for you. Perhaps you should try using it. First, conduct in 3 4th time. Just try to match the rhythm by hitting up, down, and right. Very nice, that was splendid. Next is four quarter time. Yeah, this is pretty simple. Nope, nope, there we go. This is pretty easy stuff. You should be able to do it. That was not bad for your first time at all. You see, you can also conduct within 6-4 time by helping... Alright, cool. You've, see, you've really received the legendary Wind Waker. By using this magical conductor's back, then you can bore the power of the gods. Phone is ringing. I can't pick that up right now as I'm recording. Okay, so what you want to do is go back here. And these are... And you want to pull out your Wind Waker right here. Oh, the baton. Sorry about that phone ringing. You've learned the winds of the winds requiem. Mm. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. <laughs> the name is Zephos. I'm the god of winds. Okay, cool. So you're the new wind waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up, well, it gives you control over the direction of the, of the wind of the blows. Depending on how it's used, the wind can be used as a good thing or a very bad thing. You want the example of it being a bad thing, then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother Cyclos has nifted about his monument here being broken. Now he spends his time with it creating cycles to torment people with. So if you can if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? <laughs> and that is my request for you. That's pretty rank, eh? Chastise. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so since we're done there, we learn the wind's requiem. Which allows us to change the direction of the wind. But now, what you want to do is grab the bomb here. Put it down here, run away, so you can get your face blown off. There's actually another one up here. Throw the bomb. Oh, there we go. But he still got it, but he managed to break the, the rock still. Okay. Grab his bomb. Put it there. I don't even really need to go that way. I just did that for kicks. Okay. 
same procedure as last time. Grab a bomb, throw it there, damn it. I missed. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. There's nothing over there, so never mind. Get some hearts. Wait, I want to go read that sign over there. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything, you know? Up. Okay. <laughs> I pretty much have that clear. That was a waste of time. Oh well, can't be too sure. Could have been anything, right? Okay, so what you want to do right here is, uh... Sidle. Awesome. Okay. That's your group here. What you want to do is grab the bomb, pretty obvious, put it where the rocks are. You just love your shield. Shields are awesome. Okay. So you want to pull this down to make an easy access area instead of going through all that way again. Hey, rupees. Hey, who's that? Trifozzy, Trifozzy, is that you? Is it? I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you travel far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Trifozzy. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people to hear about you, and all of the, all of this Rito are very concerned. I'm certain that the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our airy. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know that you're coming. Come inside, Trifozzy. I'll be waiting. Okay, so what you want to do is go up there. Jars here you can break. Go inside and go meet the chieftain. There they are. Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Valu's anger? Ah, so so you are Trifozzi, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to, to assist you. <clears throat> However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Ritu tribes are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We, we do so by the graces of our sky spirit, Valu. When Ritu reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roofs to receive a scale from the dragon. It is this scale that enables the Ritu to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledlings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Blue and Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Yeah, man. Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Trifozzi with the guards to your son, Prince Komali? As you can see, Trifozzi is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Komali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. 
that may be let me be direct my son Kamali is of age to earn his wings yet he is weak in some ways and in the light of the current situation he may just give up on ever getting his wings what say you will you share some of your courage with my son will you meet with my son yeah man I thank you we shall do our best to resolve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may better help you with yours. I have something you wish, wish for you to give to him. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I'm counting on you. I will not let you down, sir. Hey, Trevor, take this with you. Sure. Who knows? It might come in handy. You've got a delivery bag. Finally crafted bags like this are used by Rito Postman everywhere. With so many pockets, it can hold many items. Awesome. You got a delivery bag. Meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Okay guys, that's the end of the video for now. Thanks for watching. And have yourselves a great day and join me on the next video of Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Bye.